currently an estimated 10 million Americans suffer from osteoporosis, causing more than a million fractures, including hundreds of thousands of hip fractures, a common reason people end up in nursing homes. Many older women say they'd rather be dead than break their hip and end up in a home. Bone is a dynamic, living organ that's constantly renewed through a process of remodeling and modeling involving bone breakdown by cells that eat bone, called osteoclasts, and bone formation by cells that build bone, called osteoblasts. Osteoporosis is caused by an imbalance between bone loss and bone gain, most often related to hormonal changes that occur during menopause. Is there anything we can do to help tip the balance back and forth bones favor. There are a number of specific compounds in plant foods that look promising, uh, but that's based on like in vitro studies like this, where they basically drip some plant compound on bone cells in a petri dish, and do see a boost in bone builder cells, or a, uh, a drop in bone eater cells. Uh, but no matter how much people like cranberry sauce, they're not injecting it into their veins. For phytonutrients to reach the bone, they first have to get absorbed from the digestive tract into the bloodstream, make it past the liver, before they can circulate to our skeleton. So what would be nice is a so-called ex vivo study, where you take people, feed them a food or not, and then draw their blood a few hours later, and then drip their blood on bone cells and see if there's any difference. But nothing like that had ever been attempted until this study. Normally, I'm not impressed with studies funded by marketing boards who pay for studies like this that found that eating almonds improved cycling distance and athletic performance compared to cookies. But this study was rather brilliant, not surprisingly, given it was performed in the world-famous lab of Dr. David Jenkins. There was a population study that suggested that eating almonds could protect against osteoporosis, so what they could have just you know, done is drip some almond extract on bone cells, but that's not testing the whole food. Instead, you could treat bone cells with the blood obtained from donors fed the whole food to directly test the effects of these foods at the cellular level. So, they exposed human osteoclasts, the bone eaters, to blood obtained before and four hours after eating a handful of almonds. Uh, but wait a second, before I get to the results, I mean, if you ate a handful of almonds every day, I mean, wouldn't you gain weight that's almost 200 calories? Let's find out. If you add a handful, or a handful and a half, like 35 almonds as a snack, in addition to women's regular diet as a mid-morning snack, and then told them, you know, eat as much as you want for lunch and supper that day, people eat less. In fact, so much less, they cancel out the nut calories. Uh, they all had the same breakfast, then 0, 173, or 259 calories worth of almonds as a snack. Then ate as much lunch as they wanted, but the nuts appeared to be so satiating that they ate less for lunch or dinner, such that at the end of the day there was no significant difference in total caloric intake between any of the three groups. Part of the reason people don't tend to gain weight adding nuts to their diet may be because we end up flushing nearly a third of the calories down the toilet because we don't chew well enough. Uh, this is why we think there's so much less fat in our bloodstream after eating whole almonds compared to the same amount of almond oil taken out of the same quantity of nuts, but in oil form. So anyway, they wanted to see if they could suppress the activity of the cells that eat away our bones and they found that blood serum obtained following the consumption of an almond meal inhibits human osteoclast formation and function and gene expression, providing direct evidence to support the association between regular almond consumption and a reduced risk of developing osteoporosis. They also tried before and after eating other meals, uh, rice or potatoes, to make sure it wasn't just some effective eating in general, and no, the, the protective effect did appear specific to the almonds.